Okay, so today <clears throat> I'm going to give a little more hints to the uh, similarities and differences between access consciousness and what we call true Buddhism. And the reason we call it true Buddhism is because that's what the historical Buddha called, called it. He called everything he taught before the Lotus Sutra expedient means teachings, and he said they're not the truth. And everything after the Lotus Sutra he said is the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help me, uh, whatever the fuck he said. Anyway, I'm taking that a little my own uh, poetic license on that one. But anyway, so every time I'm listening to a new class uh, by Access Consciousness, I'm always thinking, wow, that's so true Buddhism. Oh, wow, that's so true Buddhism. It reminds me of my, my brother, who was a punk rocker like I was back in the Huntington Beach days, and he still thinks he is a punk rocker. Uh, anyway... He used to always say, oh, that's so punk, dude. Every time he heard something, like, oh, that's so punk. So now, this is what I do every time I listen to a new Access class. I'm like, wow, that's so true Buddhism. Because there's so many things in Access every day I learn about that is so true Buddhism. So in Buddhism, we say your fundamental darkness is otherwise known as the devil of the sixth heaven. And it exists in everyone and everything. Um, what it is, it's the it's the reality police or what now access calls the fraud patrol it's that voice inside of you or in the voice inside of all the other people who try to shut you down for trying to be the buddha of absolute freedom who is free from all uh ch all the chains of causation that's what they call it in buddhism so the buddha of absolute freedom frees himself from the chains of causation free frees himself or herself because it's not a guy or a girl it's you and me and whoever else chooses to be it so in Access Conscious, they say freeing yourself from causal incarcerations, causal incongruities, causal, <clears throat> uh, causal realities, and causal um, incarcerations. I said the inculcations, incarcerations, realities, and uh, whatever. I forget some of them. Anyway, all the causal crap. All the causal reality you tied yourself into from time without beginning to make yourself not a true Buddha from time without beginning and not an infinite being from time without beginning, which is the same thing. It's the Buddha of absolute freedom that's talked about in the Lotus Sutra and other sutras around that time of his final eight teachings of life. And I read some of the Nirvana Sutra in my last video, so you got to see how the Nirvana Sutra and everything Access Consciousness says around the idea of being out of form, out of definition, out of linearity, out of concentricity, out of, uh, out of uh, control, out of whatever. All those out of things, so those are the 32 negations, but there's actually a bazillion negations if you read the larger translations of the uh, of the Nirvana Sutra, which was the last sutra before uh, the historical Buddha Shakyamuni, otherwise known as Siddhartha, otherwise known as Gautama, decided to transcend into the non-physical body and go into the next existence to be back into a baby's body soon after that. On another planet, in another dimension who knows okay it's you it's me it's everybody we don't look up to anyone in buddhism as above us because we're all equal because that's what the historical buddha said in the final teachings in the lotus sutra he says i made a it's the threefold lotus sutras there's three sutras that we call the threefold lotus sutras and i can't remember all of them first one is uh <clears throat> something uh infinite meaning the sutra of immeasurable meaning or infinite meaning depends on the translation you read and then the lotus sutra and then the last one i can't remember the freaking last one's name but anyway, I, it's all free online. You can get them downloadable Kindle version in PDF. And I, I read it. I had to listen to it in my Kindle. Now I got that. <clears throat> I just downloaded the uh, Nirvana Sutra. Great translation. I'm going to download a few other translations hopefully in the future. Because I like reading many different translations to get many different ideas of, of what's possible. Because all definitions and all translations and all words are all limitations. So the in infinite being you truly be from time without beginning is, is beyond all definitions and all words because all words are all definitions and all definitions are all limitations so you're beyond all that so you, it's beyond all words you are free from from form structure and significance which uh the the 32 negations talks about which is exactly what access conscious talks about so now in the new uh foundation class which i'm listening to which is really beautiful and i thank the person who gave it to me and i'm not going to say who all my secret agents are within the uh, cult called Access Consciousness, otherwise known as the the uh, the healing modality formerly known as Access Energy Transformation. I love them. I love Gary. I love uh, I love Dane. I love everyone in Access because I am them and they are me and we are them and we are all together. Just like uh, my previous self known as John Lennon said in another lifetime. Okay. 
So uh, if you didn't realize that you are me and I am you and we are all together, like uh, the walrus talks about, um, then you need to go watch my other videos. But anyway, the newest one we're, we're focusing on is this fraud patrol. And I've, for a long time, I've called this fraud patrol before I heard the word fraud patrol in, in the new foundation class. I've called it the reality police. And I, every time someone on my video says, oh, yeah, you can't do that. That's not real. Science hasn't proved that. Oh, that's not possible in this reality. No, no, no. They say it on my YouTube videos. I always say, oh, thank you for being the reality police. Uh, please go police someone else because I'm not stuck in this reality because this reality is my creation. It's my creation. Is it real? It's my creation. I've been listening to the greatest hits of Oingo Boingo Lango lately. I'm losing my voice too because I got a sore throat and I sang too much this weekend. But anyway, that's the new uh, link between the true Buddhism and uh, access consciousness that is truly spinning in this reality right now, which is the fraud patrol. So you've got to sign up for the new the new uh, uh, foundation class like I didn't do uh, because I, I think if you want to pay for it, go for it. If you want to get it for free on my YouTube videos, you can do that too because I have millions of YouTube videos on all this stuff. But I'm going to put more and more and more and more because they're not going to shut me down because I'm an infinite being from time without beginning. And I've been doing this for billions and millions of lifetimes, my friends. It's starting to get cold again, so I'm starting to have to wear these freaking goofy hats again. And you guys are always making fun of my fucking hats because it's usually freezing cold. Oh, I can't even fucking put it straight because I'm looking at the I'm looking at this video and it's backwards. So I'm every time I try to pull it the other way, it goes the wrong way. Okay, is that straight? Uh, I did it wrong. That way. Oh, yeah, I got it now. You do the opposite. Whatever you see, that's left. Wait, this is right up for me, and that's left for you. I don't know. Anyway, I feel like a pith helmet. We call this a pith helmet. Back in my Royal Prince days, we wore pith helmets. No, that was before Royal Prince days in the brass band in Los Angeles. We wore pith helmets. These, like, freaking bowls on your head. In case you want to get a Chinese fucking haircut. Oh, I just thought of a new word. The other day, I was walking down the street. And I'm coining this word right now. It's me. So if this is in the dictionary in the future and they don't accredit it to me like they didn't credit all those 60 other thousand words I, I, I created in my last life as Sir Francis Bacon, know that I coined this first here because this, this is date stamped. It is now the 26th. I actually discovered this yesterday. I was walking down the street. I saw a Juen. A Juen is a 10 cent piece. And there was a 1 cent piece, which is a yen. Every time I find a yen, I say, find a yenny. That's what we call a penny. It's a one cent yen. I say, find a yenny, pick it up all the day. You'll have good luck. But I saw a yenny and I saw a Jewy. And I just came to me. Jewy. That's perfect. It's a Jewy. Juen is 10 yen, which is about 10 cents. And it reminded me, I spell Jewy, J-U-E-Y. So no one thinks I'm being a racist or being a whatever you want to call it. I don't even know if it's a race or if it's a freaking religion or if it's a freaking bastardized system of controlling your mind called Judaism. But anyway, I'm not bad. I'm not, I'm not making fun of that, that bastardized teachings of, of many other teachings that they stole from over billions of years. But anyway, my friend who is Jewish, he said, um, do you, have you heard of the new Jewish automobile? And I said, no. And he says, it stops on a dime and it picks it up. So that's what a Jewy is. It's a Jew and it's a dime. So if you find a dime and you pick it up, then you got a Jewy. So find a Jewy, pick it up, all the day you'll have good luck. If you want to call it Jewy and spell it J-E-Y, no, J-E-W-Y -J and be offensive, you can do that too. But I, I spell it J-U, like Jew N. That's the Romanized version of Jew. I can make a plus. That's, this is the kanji for Jew. Oh, it's a cross. Oh, hey. Talk about Sir Francis Bacon and the Rosicrucians and the frickin' and the Kabbalah. That's what the fucking... Why, the, why is 10 yen a cross? You ever wonder that? Now that's going to be the next subject of the next... That just fucking downloaded right... Boom! Into my fucking Matrix field brain. That's expanding out into the fucking multiverse. Anyway... I like coming at you with these crazy videos and I hope you like my, my cakes and my hats and all this other shit because it's almost Halloween and it's almost getting cold enough that I'm going to have to wear these hats all the time and I'm going to look fucking goofy because it gets cold. But I just took a hot bath because I got a sore throat <clears throat> last night. I'm going to get rid of that. A couple more days I'll be on my world tour, my music tour. I got to get my voice back. So uh, push subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Check out the, uh, the uh, playlist. It's called Access Consciousness. Or I might have changed it to the the 
healing modality, formerly known as excess energy transformation, because they said, you can't use that word because it's trademarked. And as if an infinite being would, would believe in trademarks. Anyway, all those creations, human creations and human uh, inventions, trademarks and all this shit doesn't, doesn't apply to me because I'm an infinite being. So anyway, and I'm also not in their jurisdiction because I'm outside of the fucking matrix field. I'm fucking on an island, a remote island in the middle of the fucking Pacific Ocean, and you won't know where I am because you'll think I'm in another place. Okay, peace out, love you all. So know that the reality police was talked about in Buddhism 25,000 years before Access Consciousness. It wasn't called the, uh, what they call it now. It's They call it the, uh, uh, what did I just call it? Um, see that? I got CRS. The more access clearing you do, the more you get CRS. And CRS stands for can't remember shit. And you see underneath, I just dyed my hair. There is some gray hair. So pretty soon all my gray matter will be on the outside of my head. And I'll, I'll be fully crs Can't remember shit. But what I was trying to remember, I'll probably remember now. It's not called the reality police. It's called the uh, fraud patrol. So the fraud patrol in Buddhism is called the devil king of the sixth heaven, otherwise known as your fundamental darkness and everyone else's fundamental darkness. It's that voice inside your head or the voice in other people's heads that says, you can't do it. You can't break out of reality. You can't break out of the chains of causation is what they call it in the Lotus Sutra. I forget how many chains of causations, but there's a whole lot of them. You can't break out of those and be the Buddha of absolute freedom because because the reality police comes down on you. It's your 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 lesser self, like the like what are those old? They had the like, devil on one ear and the angel on one one side, and the devil tells you one and the fucking angel tells you nothing and the yes no yes no and they're fighting. That's that's what your fundamental darkness, otherwise known as the devil of the six heaven, is in Buddhism. It's the reality police or the uh, fraud patrol that tells you no. You'll never change what you think you can never change because it's unchangeable because you're not willing to change it because you're being controlled by the fraud police so say goodbye to the fraud police all the people who say i can't put access consciousness on my videos because i'm not certified but i am certified but they don't know because i'm secret i have like some secret identities i go into the meetings i'm fucking the fly on the wall and shit so i, I mean every one of the classes i sign the papers I signed it Bajat Foch, in case you didn't know who that was. Okay, that's one of my many identities in this infinite play called reality that I transmute every day and transform and transsexualize. Oh, that's not the right word. Trans. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, come at you next. Push subscribe if you haven't. Put comments, all that stuff. Like, all the good shit. Because, you know, if the more you do that, the more I'll come back and give you more. If you don't want it, hey, I'll give it to someone else. All right, peace out.